So in 6.5, we did percent decrease where things went down. Now we're going to do percent increase where things go up. So 40% as a decimal, right, is 0.4. 100% as a decimal is 1. And 140% is therefore 1.4. And hopefully that makes sense to you, right? If 100% is 1 and 40% is 0.4, 0 0.4 plus 1 is 1 1.4. Find 40% of 30, and so to find 40% of 30, you would do 30 times 0.4, and you get 12. 100% of 30, you get 30. So 140% of 30, let's see that. 30 times 1.4, 4 times 0, 4 times 3 is 12. Step over, 1 times 0, 1 times 3. And you get 42. Now, was the answer here 140% of 30 the same as 100%, which is 30, 100%, I just wrote 10%, 100%, plus 40%, which was 12, right? Did you get 100% plus 40%? Yes, you did. It's the same thing. 140% is the same thing as 100% plus 30%. 40%, 100% plus 40%. All right, so there are going to be two methods, once again, for percent increases. So say this was increased 40%. Typically, a store buys things cheaply, marks them up 40 to 50% or more sometimes, and then sells them to you, right? That 40% gives them a profit, but it also covers their rent and the cost of salespeople. So stores have a mark up. So if you make something 40% higher, you would multiply by 0.4. So it was $20 when the store bought it. Now they're going to increase it $8. So you add the 8. So they buy it for 20 and sell it to you for 28. So that's one method in red. But also realize if they're going to sell it for 40% more, that means they're going to sell it for 140% of the original price. So you just multiply by 1.4 and you get the same $28 using the two methods. All right, so just to review what we did before, 100% plus 30% is 130% as a decimal, it's 1.3. Sam paid 6% sales tax for a shirt. What percent of the price for the shirt did he pay? He paid 100% plus an extra 6% in tax, so he paid 106%. All right, oops, 106%. So a markup is an increase in a price. Okay, so we can add the price to 100%. So a store increased the price of a $50 shirt 30%. At what price does the sell, store sell the shirt? So we're going to do it two ways, but the easy way, right, if you can do 100% plus 30% in your head and get 130% and then make that, oof, I got to way too sloppy so make that 130 percent well if we make that a decimal you can do all this in your head and realize all we have to do is multiply by 1.3 so you do 50 times 1.3 3 times 0 3 times 5 is 15 step over 1 times 0 1 times 5 move the decimal once and they're going to sell it to you for 65 dollars so you just multiply 50 times 1.3 or the other method, and you do have to know how to do both, right? You would find the 30%, which means you multiply by 0.3 and get $15. And then you take that $15 and add it, thinking of the answer, to the 50 and get the $65 that way. Either way. You buy pants for $25. The tax rate is 8%. Find the price of the pants with the tax. So if it's 8% tax, that means you're going to pay 108% or 1.08. I'm putting that one up top because it has more digits. We're going to do 1.08 times 25. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 0 plus 4 is 4. 5 times 1 is 5. We step over. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 0 plus 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And move the decimal twice. So you're going to pay... 
$27 at the register. You pay the $25 to the store for the pants. By the way, the tax is collected by the store. The store sends it to the state for you. They collect a bunch of them and sends it, I believe, quarterly at least, if not sooner, to the state. Now, the other way to do it, right, would be 25 times 0 0.08 to get the 8%. 5 times 8 is 40. 8 times 2 is 16. And you get $2. You get a row of zeros that I'm ignoring. And then you would add the $2 to the $2 tax to the price and get $27. All right, the number of students attending a school increased by 5% from 240. How many students now attend the school? So if there's 5% more, right, then we're at 105%. So we're going to do 1.05 times 240. I could have put in either one up top. Here you get a row of zeros to start, then you go, go over one and go four times five is 20, carry the two, four times zero is zero plus two, four times one is four. Now for the third row, you go over twice, right? Because you got to start underneath this two. So two times five is 10, carry the one, two times zero plus one is one, two times one is two, zero, zero, two, five, two, move the decimal twice. There are 5% more students there. It's not money. It's 252 students, right? That's the way I typically do it. But also, you could have done it the other way, right? You multiply by 0 0.05, and you get four. Hold. So Howard earned $600 per week, but then received a 12% raise find his new pay. So if he has a 12% raise, that means he's now making 112% or 1.12 of what he used to make. So we have to multiply that times $600. We're going to get a bunch of rows of zeros doing this. I may have preferred to set it up with the 600 up top, but I didn't, so I'll put it this way. So now Third row, I'm finally multiplying by the six. Six times two is 12, carry the one. Six plus one is seven. Six times one is six. Zero, zero, two, seven, six. Move the decimal twice, right? He's now gonna be making $672, 12% more than he made before. David buys five shirts that are $30 each. If the tax rate is 9%, what will be the cost of all five shirts with the tax? Okay, so if he's getting a 9% tax, he's going to pay 109%, which is 1.09. Now, if there are five shirts, now I could do it for one shirt, but why don't we just do this for all five shirts all at once? So what would 5 times 30 be? It's 150, so we can do 1.09 times 150. And that would get us the total cost with the tax for all five shirts with that one calculation. So let's do that. Zero, zero, zero. Again, a row of zeros. Then five times nine is 45. And then you get a four and a five. You step over twice for your third row. One times nine and zero and one. And you add up the rows. And we move the decimal twice. And for all five shirts, you're going to, including the tax, is $163.50, right? It'd be $150 without the tax. So what was the tax? The tax was $13.50, right? That $13.50, right? If you bought $150 at 9% tax, it would be $13.50 in tax. And you could have done it by doing that calculation and then adding that to the original cost of the five shirts and you would get the same answer this method might have been more clear for this particular one it's up to you you buy a shirt which is 25 dollars and a tie which is 15 dollars the tax rate is 7.5 percent find the total price with the tax okay so again we're going to add these together right they both there are times when one thing is tax. Certain states have taxes on some kinds of foods and 
not taxes on other kinds of foods. But typically at a clothing store, all the clothes have the same tax. So we can add them up, up and we're going to do right 7.5%, 0.075 times 40. Oh, but the tax rate is 0.75. So we're going to add that to 100, right? So 100%. Plus 7.5% is 107.5% with the tax. So it's going to be 1.075. Why wouldn't we just do that? 1.05. So it'll be 107.5% the original price with the tax. So we just multiply that times 40. You get a row of zeros to start off. Then you're going to multiply all by 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 7 is 28. 30. 4 times 0 is 0 plus 3. 4 times 1 is 4. 0, 0, 0, 3, 4. Move the decimal 3 times. 1, 2, 3. All right. With the tax. It was $40 without the tax. It's $43 with the tax. You buy a dress which is normally $40 but is 10% off. So we're, this is combining two lessons in here. So 10% off if the tax rate is 8%. Now, I would not, you might be tempted to take 10% off and then add 8%. I wouldn't do it that way. And so I will go over that in a second. But So let's start with the price, 10% off, right? So 10% of 40 is 4. So we're going to take 10% off or $4 off, right? So 10% of 40 minus the four is $36. So you pay the tax on the 36. You don't pay the tax on the 40. You pay the tax on the 36. So you want to calculate that first. So, or you could have realized that 90% of 40 is in fact 36. But either way, those are the two methods to figure out you're going to pay $36 for the dress. Now you're going to pay 8% more, so 108% of 36. So 1.08 times 36, it's 8% more than 36. 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 0 plus 4 is 4. 6 times 1 is 6. Step over. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2. And 3 times 1, and I'm getting that, and we move the decimal twice. We're going to pay $38.88. And again, if you prefer, you could do 8% of 36 and you get $2.88. And then you would have to add the $2.88 to the $36 we started with. And you could get it that way. Tom wants to buy a music player, which is a better deal. Which is a better deal? So in the first one, $80 plus a $6 charge, but no state sales tax. Well, that's easy. There's no percent in there. That's $86. All right. The other one, it's $80 plus 9% sales tax, which he picks himself up. So if you have 9% sales tax, you're going to pay 109% of the original price. So it's 1.09 times 80. You get the row of zeros. Then you get 8 times 9 is 72, 8 times 0 is 0 plus 7, 8 times 1 is 8, and you move the decimal twice. Here you're going to pay $87.20. So the internet, because in this particular case you were not paying sales tax, which is not usually the case anymore, it would have been cheaper. But in the early days of the internet it was. <laughs> Marcy earned $16 per hour, but then received a 20% raise. What is her new rate of pay? Well, her new rate of pay is at 120%. 120% as a decimal is 1.2. So we're going to do 16 times 1.2. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3. Step over. 1 times 6 and 1 times 1. And we're going to move one decimal. She's now getting paid. We're going to write this as money. We're going to add a zero. She's now getting paid 20% more. She's getting paid $19.20. Store buys gold necklaces for $9 and marks them up 50%. So 50%, right, 
plus 100% is 150%. So we're multiplying by 1.5, 5 times 0, 5 times 9 is 45. Step over, 1 times 0, 1 times 9. And now we're paying 130 the store basically buys them for $90 and sells them to you for $135. And that markup may seem large, but it's got to have profit. It's got to pay the rent. It's got to pay all the salespeople and lots of other stuff. So she's going to pay for five shirts that cost $22. Let's start there. So for five shirts, it's normally $110, but there's tax of 9%. We can do 9% and add it to 110 but I'm just going to do 109%, right? 109% is 1.09, and we're going to multiply that times the $110 that it would normally cost, and we get a row of zeros to start, then 1 times 9, 1 times 0, 1 times 1, step over twice, then we have the exact same thing again, being a little sloppy here, which I'm not liking, and then we move the decimal twice, and for five shirts, we're paying $119.90 at the register because we have to pay the tax. You buy a dress, which is normally $50, but is 10% off. If the sales tax is 8%, find the total price with the tax. So you want to do this in two steps. So if you're, it's 10% off, right, of the $50, you're going to pay 90% also known as $45. You're gonna pay $45 for it. The tax is on the 45. That's why you do this in two steps. And then, so 45, and then we're gonna multiply that times 1.08. We're gonna pay 108% of the $45. Five times eight is 40, times zero plus four, five times one, step over for the next row, four times eight is 32. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 3, 4 times 1 is 4, and 0, and 6, and 8, and 4, move the decimal twice. So for the dress, you're going to pay, interest. so it's interesting, right? It was $50 maybe on the tag, but it got 10% off, which got it down to 45, but then you had to pay 8% of it back. But this is not, so you might say, well, why don't I say subtract those and get uh, two negative two percent and pay multiply by 98 percent because you're doing the percent off the 45 that causes problems so please do it this way good luck with the homework